Tonight, we're honoring the life and legacy of former Jacksonville Mayor Jake Godbold, who died this morning at the age of 86. He had a profound effect on Jacksonville while he led the city from 1978 to 1987. When Godbold was mayor, the relationship his office had with the local police union was often contentious. And but because Godbold cared so much about the people, the former head of the Jacksonville Fraternal Order of Police Union says that Godbold worked hard to make that relationship work well. And Joy is joining us now. Joy, I understand this former FOP president reached out to you, wanted to share his own memories of the late mayor. Yes, Kent, Mary, I was ready to interview John Pelosi myself, eager really to hear about the relationship then and compare it to the rapport between the current mayor's office and FOP. But when he started telling me personal stories about him and Godbolt that involved Tom Wills, there really was no passing up the opportunity to have John and Tom sit down together again and talk about things like Michael Jackson coming to Jacksonville in 1984. Back in the 80s, the biggest name in music, Michael Jackson, was performing in Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium. This was a huge highlight. As the new chief of special events and recreation for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, John Pelorsi was sent by Mayor Jake Godbold to check out the setup and security of the Midwest concert because one of the singer's next stops was Jacksonville. We met Michael and um, we spent uh, six days up there, if I'm, uh, my memory's good, and uh, I think I saw you the first night of the first show. And I said, Tom, tell the people in Jacksonville they're going to get a show. He was devoted to overcoming what he saw as Jacksonville's inferiority complex. And, and there were some strong obstacles there. One of those obstacles was a contentious relationship with Jacksonville's police union. Pelosi became its president in 1979. We even teased him one time that we were going to put sign, buy billboards and put signs on there that said, Welcome to Jacksonville, home of the poorest paid uh, first responders in the city. At one time, we even adopted the name of calling him Boss Hog. I think they even spray painted it in a few places. And uh, he didn't uh, care for it too well. But Pelosi says Godbold took a personal liking to him and the fire union president. Did he improve the situation for police officers and firefighters while he was mayor? He did. He did extensively. He, he was interested in everything that we talked about on the contract. Then there was the time in the mid-80s. He says Godbold thought Jacksonville might lose the chance to host any more Gator Bowl games. He, he said to me, he says, I want you to go over there and he says, I want you to come up with a plan. I want you to have that Gator Bowl as rock solid in security. I don't want any more incidents on the street. I don't want any goalposts taken down. So I spent weeks over there and he said, don't discuss this plan with anybody. Sheriff uh, McMillan then uh, decided that uh, uh, we would take the recruits out of the academy. We would deputize them for one day. We put 380 police officers in the stadium for that event and the coaches and them, they were getting a little bit uh, ready to move back to Georgia and make it a home and home game and we saved it and we were very proud of that but thanks to him and his tenacity to push us we pulled it off. Well right now our web team and editors are working to post Tom's entire interview with former FOP president John Pelorsi and there's some great video of Tom at Arrowhead Stadium. We're going to get that in there as well for you. You're going to be able to watch all of that tonight later on newsforjax.com. Ken? Thank you, Joy. And this Sunday, join me as we honor former Mayor Jake Godbold's legacy. This week in Jacksonville, we're dedicating the whole show to remembering Godbold and the way he affected change. So join us. That's this Sunday at 9 here on Channel 4.